Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions. Today in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the basic and essentials of truck hood form. Now I'm sure you guys have purchased the truck hood suite and are very familiar with the particular star glow and shine. But you guys are probably not familiar with truck hood form, one because it's not used that often, and two it looks complex when you first boot it up and start it up and start using it. But I'll be showing you the basics and essentials of form today. I'll be walking through with some of the basic parameters and base form settings and show you how to use it basically and pretty much show you examples of what you can do with truck hood form. But basically, truck hood form in particular are very similar in their own ways. One, because they're both particle systems and they both control particles around. But where particular differs from form is particular actually leans towards more the compositing and visual effects side. It's great for simulating realism, like snow, rain, dust, everything like that. And form is more towards the motion graphics. Of course, it can, they can be vice versa, but form is more of an organic, abstract look. And form, in particular, is more used for motion graphics and visual design. Let's get started with this video tutorial. Basically, form relies heavily on each other to form something else. So basically, form creates a form. Or in particular, they have, you have your individual settings for each particle, such as the life over death, size, randomness, and all that stuff, and um, opacity over life. While form particles, they all stay there, they're all visible, and they all work together more dependent on each other than particular. But basically, you can create some pretty cool stuff using um, form. You can create cinematic particles like what I did here. This video is strictly form only, basically. You can view it on my YouTube channel, link in the video description. But what it is, is it's actually just form moving around. It looks organic. You can check that out, link, link in the video description. And another thing is audio reaction. Now, if you look at here, I have a clip and an MP3 file right here. I'm going to have a kick here, a kick here, a kick here, and a kick here. So pretty much four kicks if you look at the waveforms right here. And watch what happens when I play it. Form actually reacts to the audio. Kick, kick, and another kick right there. So pretty much you see how the waveforms and the audio reaction of form reacts. So yes, you can simulate some audio reaction with form. Really unique. You see in a lot of music videos nowadays. And it's really cool. And you can see waveforms flying around and everything. It's really cool. But we're going to that video tutorial later on. So request a video tutorial in the video description or in the comments bar. And cinematic particles, I see here we see some organic movement movement right here. This is all created using form. It's really interesting. It gives it an abstract look. It doesn't look realistic at all. You don't really know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. And that's what form is for. Now in this scene right here, I actually use particular. Now you can see that it looks a lot more realistic than form. You can say it's embers, you can see it's little fire bits flying around. You see some nice reflections here and all that stuff and some gloss. So particular is more used for realism. This scene is created with um, particular only. As in this is created with form. But let's get started with this video tutorial. We're going to open a new comp and create a new layer. Control command Y and name it form. We're going to search in form in the effects and preset and we're going to bring it in. And this is what form looks like by default. Now by default you get three grids. You're not, you might not see all three right now, but you see two. One in the foreground and one in the middle right here. Let's go into the ba base form and dive in. So under base form you have box, strings, which are actual strings instead of particles, and sphere layers. I'm going to go with the box grid because this is what people use most more often. Size over X, size over Y, size over Z pretty much determines how big the area is. I'm going to keep it pretty small like this, 380 by 220, particles in X, Y, Z, basically the size and particles in X pretty much correlate with each other. If you increase the size, you should increase the particles, but the size over X determines how wide the area is, and particles in X determines how many particles are in the X axis. So if we lower this down, you see that there isn't that many particles in the X axis. As we increase it, we get more. Just something to keep in mind, the rest are self-explanatory, like the rotation. We're going to move down to the particle where we have basic settings for our particles like the sphere feather, color, size, opacity, and transfer mode, really important. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to create a new layer and create a new camera. Now I'll just show you guys what form looks like by default. I'm going to rotate to the side here and as you see by default form gives you three grids. Most of the time people only work with one because three is not really needed, but it's there if you need it. You can always change that value right here, particle in Z, you can change it to one, 
and it'll give you one grid. I'm gonna delete the camera, we don't need that anymore. So now we only have one grid of particles. That works fine for us right now. Quick map and layer maps and audio reaction. We will go into it later in a later video tutorial. Disperse and twist, you can disperse the particles by increasing it. So let's say you wanted for them to create an image or a text. You can keyframe the disperse and then keyframe it and lower it down so it converges and creates a whole image. Just something to keep in mind. So set it back to zero and twist pretty much twist the whole grid so you can create some sort of DNA strand with this twist I'm gonna leave the twist a little bit maybe at 12 10 and I'll show you why we can go to the fractal field pretty much this is where all the customization happens in form this is where you customize everything and make it look unique as hell so basically effect size basically the fractal field is always present now whether we see it or not just determines on our settings but if we hit effect size 1 and effect opacity 1, you can already start seeing the opacity. You already start to see the fractal field in this grid right here. And watch what happens when I increase the displacement. You start to get this interesting look because the fractal field is present throughout the whole composition. So when we increase the displacement, it affects our grid by the number of values. So, so see as I increase the displacement you see our particles start to break up now if you want to fill those in just go back to the size over X particles over X increase the particles so it fills them in as you see it's starting to fill in now increase the Y and then we can and we start to fill in our whole particles but I'm gonna control Z that go back change the displacement to about 150 so we get a nice little abstract look. I'm going to go up to the color and change the color a little bit. Since it's in additive mode, we're going to select a relatively dark color. Something like that. Looking good. And now if I RAM preview this, let's see what happens. You see that the form actually moves by itself in a uniform way. It's not really moving in any direction. It's moving everywhere. Now say you wanted the particles or the grid to move to the right, flow to the right, like if wind was affecting it or something. Like in particular we have the wind. Well, here in form we don't have that. We actually have flow. So watch what happens when I increase the flow over X. As I increase it to 50 and I ran preview, we're going to see that the particle grids actually start moving to the right. And if you change this if you change the flow over X on the left, it's going to turn to the left and vice versa with the Y and flow over Z. Now evolution, flow evolution determines how fast it flows. So 50 is usually too fast. I like to keep mine at 25. Offset evolution, self-explanatory. And flow loop, you can actually loop the animation so it loops around so you can make some weird lower thirds or something. And the fractal sum and everything under this is just really complicated stuff. You can mess around with it and see what happens. I can't really explain it right now. It's too complex to explain, but you can mess around and see what it does. Spherical field allows you to add a sphere in the middle, as you see. Release user for logos if you want to create a logo in the middle right here, or you want to create a black hole sucking in like that. I'm going to keep it at zero. You can create multiple spheres, and kaleidoscope, transform visibly, and motion blur motion blur are pretty much self-explanatory as well motion blur works with the camera so you're gonna need a camera but basically if you ran preview this you already get to see a nice interesting look you get this organic look and it was achieved in merely two minutes or so of customization so just something really cool to think about you can create a futuristic logo reveal you can use this for for in space basically you can use this for sci-fi movies and all that stuff and pretty much an interesting organic look. You can create waves doing this. You can create so many things using this. This is the basic. I'll be showing you more complex techniques using form in a later video tutorial. But check out my channel, watch my YouTube channels, and don't forget to submit video requests because I am running out of ideas for video tutorials. So if you have an idea on a video tutorial, please comment below and tell me what you want. Or send me a PM through YouTube or my email at vincentatlive.com. Check out the Facebook page and like the fan page and it'll help me a lot so comment rate subscribe thanks for watching guys and this is the basic of form hope you liked it you can add some customization to this and add a glow shine do all those crazy stuff that you guys do and we'll see you next time thanks